Well, uh, hello again. A new day, a new project, and today I'm going to show you this multifunction battery meter. As far as I can say, it's a really nice tool. It's in use for a couple of months now, and uh, I think it's one of the best meters I ever have for my uh, solar install. Now it's working in between my solar panel and the battery bank on 12 volts and uh, it have a lot of nice functions over there even a graphic showing the state of the battery in the middle this is on the wall in perfect working place for more than two months so first of all there I have a 50 amps shunt only 50 amps because I, I consider that uh, it's more than enough for my needs now here we have some functions so the voltage uh, can be measured between 0 and 200 volts you see the display now it's on 12.7 volts and then the current for uh, this particular uh, model and then we have the amps in real time now we, you can see the panel it's it's showing uh, I mean the panel is fitting 3.3 .3 amps to the batteries because this one is connected now in between my solar panels to the 12 volt battery down here we have the power in real time so that's like 40.8 41 watts here we have the power counter from this morning in a, in a couple of hours I have only 10 watts gets into the batteries but this model can measure up to 60,000 watts here we have the amps in real time how many amps went from the power source to the receiver I may say so in my case from the panels to the battery so I have like 841 milliamps already there we have uh, the impedances uh, the, the external uh, the external resistance is 3.7 ohm and then the internal resistance is 0, 0, 0. that means the multimeter now it's tied to the battery charger so that's why we have a zero ohm over there we should have the battery internal resistance but anyway it have this function of uh, of measuring the internal uh, impedance that's really nice because uh, then you can measure the internal resistance of a certain battery or cell or something it's absolutely okay it's an it's an amazing tool for the money and then uh, over here we have the the timer how many minutes it starts so it's only 12 minutes since uh, the meter it's on of course the state of charge in here in the middle coc then can be set you know very easy now let's talk about setting first of all we we can set the limits of uh, this graphic bar here the state of charge how we do that we have a button over here push this button keep it long then again so we have there three zero three point seven volts voltage okay I want to change this and I'm going to do it like that okay I want to set this for uh, let's say 14 okay now back to 7 the the maximum let's say 14 point it's kind of tricky that but let me say 14.1 volts that's the maximum up here you know the top of the graphic and then I push long to have this in the memory and now the lower value it's already to 11.2 but I want to have it like 12 volts let's say uh, okay 0 0.7 11.8 that's not a good idea to discharge your batteries down to 11.9 but anyway the thing is you see now we have 12.5 volts and we can see this state of charge 
up here it will be 14.1 down here it will be 11.9 then the next one push long push again short and we have the amps in my case it's 50 amps but you can have 200 300 100 so I just let it on 50 amps because that's the shunt I'm using next. So let's say I want to clear the power counter. Push this one. Go over here, clear. Push it longer. And there we go. It's zero. And the same story with the amps and the timer. This can be set, that can be cleared to zero every day so as uh, as often you need it but finally I may say it's a really great tool it can be used in, in a lot of combination you know like like an energy counter for charging your batteries like an energy counter for discharging your batteries you know it can in my case now it's in between the panels and the battery but it can be the other way from the batteries to the to the consumer to the load somehow anyway um, like I said before it's a great tool I really really recommend it it's uh, it's not expensive and so far I may say it's uh, it's the best multimeter ammeter voltmeter and uh, energy counter and so on I had Thank you for now and I'll be back soon with some new projects.